right, so hello and welcome back to another lesson of our course where we will discuss about uh, how to write prompts that drive actions. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you something really quick. So give me some ideas for YouTube videos. All right, so I hit enter and ChatGPT4 will give me some YouTube video ideas categorized into different genres to help me get started. Educational, and then we have this, and we have these ideas from ChatGPT. Now, um, it's not what I wanted. I didn't want this structure. Why did I get this? Because I did not write a prompt that drives action. What do I mean by writing a prompt that drives action? Well, even though ChatGPT gave me something close to what I wanted, um, if I want to get, get the expected outcome, I need to uh, in, enter what's the final outcome I want. So I need to drive an action for ChatGPT. So uh, let's another way I can write that prompt is give me a list of or a table let's say of 10 youtube video ideas on uh i don't know educational niche educational and self improvement niche and now I'll get a table of 10 video ideas on educational and self-improvement -improve niche. So here is the table. As you can see it, it starts taking shape. So here we get the ideas. Uh, so in order to get the expected outcome, you need to write prompts that drive actions, just like in this case not just give me some ideas for YouTube videos, you have to say whether you want maybe a table, maybe a, uh, I don't know, maybe a list, uh, whatever it is that you want, you need to be specific, maybe you want a script about a video titled give me ideas for YouTube videos, so always be specific about what is the task you give ChatGPT, what do you drive action towards what do you want ChatGPT to do for you not just you i mean of course you want ideas but you want ideas and what do you want to do with them where do you want to implement them do you need these ideas in, as, a, as a table or as a as a list and so on so this is a thing to take in uh, consideration when you are writing your prompt so you make sure that you get the expected outcome this is the lesson I wanted to tell you. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.